me you're, just that's your reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new untold story. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new untold story. A new untold story, episode three two three. We got KB back from his uh, neurologist. We got Rudy up here, um, and we got Mook on the sticks back there, and of course Tyler behind camera. Number one podcast and listener retention. And I think we still, even though our at our ads are boring now, we still are that, and that's because of the resilience of the blue raspberry guys. It's pretty beautiful. How are we feeling, boys? I feel good. How about you guys? I got to be honest. A couple days ago, I was a Grinch. You're Crowds Grinch. in New York, uh, Eastern European families of eight going eight wide, holding hands, walking around, <laughs> pissing me off. And uh, as of a couple days ago, I've got the Christmas spirit, it's a little, bit, little sprinkle. So I'm pretty excited about that. I am stuffy, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Kyle, how's, how's the brain, buddy? Uh, from the neck down, I'm top five, I think. <laughs> top five, active or inactive. But uh, other than that, jeez. Shoulder a, up? Mm, yeah. You're not a head case, are you? A head case? Yeah. Like, a, like an ornery boy? No, no. Like, are you, like, getting in your own head? Are you, are you stressing? Are you... No, I don't stress. It's just, you know tired i've been genuinely concerned man good need more of that i'm trying but i feel like i'm annoying you no i think yeah no i'm good i'm good i mean i'm not good but we'll get there you still working out kind of i've been like leaving the gym early it kills me oh damn are you lifting to failure i'm, I'm lifting hard yeah okay that's good it's always to failure i got so <laughs> i got something that might make you boys happy how are you going to have three le reps left in you and just not do it? Especially when you're like, you're sitting down on a machine, just move your arms three more times. What if, it, I mean, if it's heavy, you're not, nah, you, you have always, a different mindset, dude. Go, I'm going to failure every time. If something's hard, I'll quit. That's how I am. Okay. That's, I don't know. So, so be it. I've, I've never finished really a video game. I, I, if something's hard, if I the lifting isn't hard, yes, it is. Doing squats is hard, but like lifting, like moving your arms, it's not. It's not hard. Yes, it's it not is. hard. Yes, it is. Trust. I me. bet if I look at that's your why face, the you biggest would... dorks in the world are jacked. Yeah, that's kind of true. You just got to care. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of true. Um, I got something that might make you smile. It's been a while since I've seen you smile. What is it? episode three two three? Um, I know it's L A. <laughs> yeah. What can we say about L A. I, I don't know. I don't I don't think I like L.A. It's the worst. Yeah. Learn a trade. <laughs> it's that's not that hard. Learn a trade. I promise you. It's the laziest city in the world. L.A. Yes. I think learn a trade. Get your fakest. CDL and then you can actually be bi-coastal. <laughs> <laughs> These people. How many people in L.A. do you think have their CDL? None. Get your CDL and go drive like do something. What about Encino? I bet you Encino has some tradesmen. Oh, uh, the real LA people, yeah. Okay, but the people that move Sweet out there. Sweet ass skyline. Oh, it has Pittsburgh way better. Rochester better skyline. Mm. Mobile, Alabama better skyline. Cincinnati has a bunch that are better. Cincinnati has S multiple skylines. They have yeah, they have a, a gang of them. They're Where's not you? even that good, but people overrate them. But they're better than the LA skyline. I can't name one notable building in LA. Weak skyline. Three two three. You probably can't even get from three two three to three two three in two hours because of the traffic. You can't have hose in other area codes. It's impossible. <laughs> Dude, the four hours to get to a new, another area code. L.A. sucks. David Dobrik runs your town. He's the <laughs> empire. He's the emperor of your town. Yeah, he is. You're not an influencer. So since he got canceled, he you, you're influencing your parents to work until they're eighty seven. That's what you're influencing. <laughs> you're a bartender at Saddle Ranch, third string. <laughs> um, you ain't no influencer. You got hazed by David Dobrik once and didn't even make the cut. 
Not the four minute cut. You let Toddy from the vlog squad shoot you with a paintball gun filled with frozen tarantula eggs <laughs> for some Snapchat views. You you ain't shit. That's pretty true, man. That's super mm-hmm. true. That's those, pretty true. Those are all facts. When we did, uh, I've been skipping podcasts to sleep for the past three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So no, that's good. You need it. Uh, when we were out in LA, like we had our live shows at Saddle Ranch, which was like the worst, I think, vibe for like our show of like n- subpar looking white. Yeah. Men. I mean, uh, I, I Th- those first episodes were kind of broke out me. There. Yeah. yeah. Just a sea of people looking down. And yeah, whatever. Um, today's episode. Weather's great. Brought to you by Game Time. We love Game Time. And Game Time loves that you guys aren't going to fast forward this ad. I know you're not. I don't even have to say it. Game Time's created by fans for fans. It's a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows. And they guarantee the lowest price. If you haven't given Game Time a shot yet, you don't know what you're waiting for. You guys are going to love this app. We've had tons of Barstool fans using it, hitting us up on social with the great deals they're getting. I always like it when people send us a screenshot of uh, them using the Game Time app of like tickets that they got mm-hmm. with our promo code. Not because really that they used our promo code. I just like seeing seeing dudes have fun. Yeah. Um, I've been using Game Time all year. I went to some Rangers games over the summer. I went to a bunch of Yankee games. Uh, it's so easy to use. Amazing deals. It's the fastest growing ticketing app in the U.S. I promise you're going to love it. Download the Game Time app, go to the account tab to create a login, redeem code UNTOLD, U-N-T-O-L-D, for $20 off your first purchase. Uh, download Game Time app, download last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Terms apply as always, but you guys know that. Can't believe I even have to say it. Um, you have any more on LA? Um, not off the top. No, that's fine. Um, I have something to talk about. Uh, I feel as if we've become a parody of what even ourselves, which is funny because like we started off as a parody of of a podcast like, oh, we did a whole episode about a little green apple, a whole episode of a little red apple. Uh, it's like jumping the shark. I mean, yeah, th- you can't do three apple ones. Well, no. Well, I think two was enough. You can't do three little apple ones. Oh. Um, we have a bunch of regular sized apples out there and I was looking and I was just like, fuck, I still can't even think of jokes for that. So. Jesus Christ! Big green apple. <laughs> Rudy, can you hold this up to the hold this up while I just yeah. I wrote about this green apple a little oh bit. Oh my god! Um, I feel like I'm in the Lion King. Oh yeah, <laughs> I like that apple. I'm not going to talk it's, shit on that apple. It feels really cool. You want to feel it's it? Brolic. It's like soft and hard at the same time. It's like the Twilight book cover. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this big fruit doesn't poach our producer. (laughs) If I give this thing to my teacher, Jerry Thornton finna blog about it because she'll fuck me. And it's the first time I've ever said finna. (coughs) Couldn't make an apple teeny with this. It would be an apple biggie. It's not teeny at all. (laughs) Works. Look at this. This thing's the size of Kyle's head. KB, Appleby. Oh. Eating good in the neighborhood. <laughs> this big ass apple. The new iOS or this? Which apple would use more megabytes? Probably this. Oh God. Green skin? This apple must be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> if you made a pie with this apple... The crust would be bigger than the fucking Earth's crust. Mm. And if you made a pie with this, the crust would take longer to cool than the Earth's crust took (laughs) 4.6 billion years ago. What I'm saying is this pie would be larger than the Earth. This would be the second Uh infinite pie. Like the mathematic (laughs) number. This would be the second infamous infamous pie. The worm that lives in this apple starred in tremors. (laughs) Sisyphus oh struggling to push this apple up a hill. <laughs> I dropped this outside on the way into work and people yelled Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, going in, dude. <laughs> great, great Granny Smith. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, that was out of pocket. This yeah. apple would have covered Cooper Cup in the Super Bowl better than yeah. the other apple. <laughs> shit. 
This would have made Isaac Newton's skull look like JFK's. Oh, man. Oh. Shit, that's low hanging. <laughs> <laughs> it's bending the branch. That tree coming down. <laughs> Snow White took a bite yeah, of this. Everyone heard it. No kiss bringing her ass back. Prince Charming would have had to settle with Sneezy, the most feminine of the dwarves. Lowly worm parked right in our studio. Jesus. Scary town. Rich, uh, Richard Scary, busy town. Apple bottom jeans. Oh my God. Yeah, you'll have apple jeans if you eat this because it'll become 90% of your DNA. <laughs> you'll be more apple than man. You want this to be a caramel apple? The stick would have to be a mighty sequoia. Crab apple. Yeah, maybe if the constellation Cancer was hungry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Big ass apple. <laughs> Sequel to the Roll Doll Classic. Spinoff. <sighs> <clears throat> you gotta be a giant green apple if you think we fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, Pretty good. You're spitting right there. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks. I mean, the jokes write themselves. What do you think about this, Kyle? What do I think about that? <laughs> you, have, you knew I had this? Big Apple. Oh, fuck. I, that shit's got Westchester County. It got Perth Amboy down at the bottom. Yonkers ass Apple. Action Bronson couldn't even make it out of that thing. Biggie Smalls would still be a local rapper if he grew up in that Apple. In that Big Apple. Brolic ass Apple. That Apple's got Ronnie Coleman's core. MIT STEM program. Nick Cannon seeds. Kawhi Leonard couldn't give that much skin. That stem is so big and dark. Even that fat bitch Lisa Lampanelli uh, would try to eat it top to bottom like a corn dog. She tried to ride that stem like the Sibium. Lisa Lumpajelli's Hana Vagina couldn't even handle that apple stem. That apple don't want shit to do with you, you big fat bitch Lisa Lampanelli. That apple wouldn't eat your nasty pussy for all the weed in Compton. <laughs> So I guess you did have something for this this, this apple. This was $50. It's pretty good. It looks real. So aside from its size. You think I could convince somebody that this was a real apple? Mints. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just yeah. It'll be, it'll be fun to eat. Look what I came home to the other day. What'd you come home Look to? That. What? That might be small. Whoa. Did somebody oh, leave a little apple so, at your a, door? Yeah. Someone, That's weird, that. dude. That shit's smaller than the actual fake little apple you got. That is. Look but at wait. This. Look at this. Did somebody leave that at your door? Yeah, no. Are you not weirded look out by how that? small. My hand is small. And, and that apple that's, looks that's, small. That's not even on my fingers. That That is. It's on my fingertips. <laughs> yeah, that looks small as fuck. Mm -hmm. um, rude boy. Yep. Uh. So for those wondering, we're going to be doing the WoW streams here pretty soon. Uh, we're trying to do it every Christmas. We forgot Kyle doesn't have a computer ever since you got Raspberry Jam all over your keyboard and yeah. screen. Mm -hmm. And it, your computer did work for a while, but then the jam just kept on taking more and more quadrants of your screen. Mm -hmm. To where it's now all jam. Yeah. Doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, so we're going to have to get you a computer. But you were you were streaming the other day. And we came up with the idea that you would buy, you would use a random word generator, any any noun in the world. Yeah. And you would click the button and you would search that noun that came up in stream and you would buy the first game and play it. Yeah. And you clicked the button once and what was your word? First thing we did, first word, couldn't have, you couldn't, it was boyfriend. It was boyfriend. So you played a gay yeah. dating sim. I played a build, I did a build a boyfriend <laughs> video game. That was free. Okay. It was a Frankenstein build a boyfriend spinoff. So wait, so you were like- There's were you, already one of those? Yeah. That, wait, it was a spinoff? Yeah, of, what the fuck? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that Frankenstein, the IP, I mean, I guess they did sign off it because it was Frankenstein build a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So the first time I ever um, jerked off was to a like a, a dating sim. It was called Sim Day and Night and it was on E-Bombs World. And you what? could, yeah. And like, you could go out with girls and then like, you'd be like, come home with me. And it would like, uh, just be a naked picture of the girl. That's a wild point of entry for jerking off. That's what I had. Anything on E-Bombs World. So I had that and then the Brick Breaker. The, uh, yeah. Classic. Yeah. So the, uh, I did the build a bear, the build a boyfriend. It was not really Same a thing. It wasn't a, yeah, exactly. It wasn't really a game. So then we went on to the next one and the next what one. What do you mean? It wasn't really a game. There was no like high score. Yeah. But well, you could build the, you could have, what boyfriend did you build? 
Oh, yeah, my ch my chat. I worry that they're maybe they they weren't. Uh, they said you just can't do this. They were like, you can't do this. Why? I don't know why. Your your chat. So we've both streamed with you. Yeah. It's very. It's a weird universe that you've built because yeah. they're super horny. They're wildly horny. Why? Well, because is it a I, you thing? I hope so. I hope to cultivate a world of horniness, but like not to a point where it's it's a razor's edge. It's like can get dangerous but my, now my discord is like better than hinge like there's we have like three prominent women who are very very much like down for the community and they'll just post like hot pictures of themselves and weirdly the Ooh. guys are all like wildly respectful which oh, is good wow. what's yeah. wildly respectful they're they're, they're, they're feral they, about they, it. Like, <laughs> if you yeah. if you met them in person i think that they would like if you're a woman they would bow <laughs> i was um i was thinking about weird that you brought that up um so it's been like shitty weather here, depressing gray. I was walking uh, just into work and it was raining and there was these, you know, the huge puddles that are like at the beginning of sidewalks. Mm -hmm. What the fuck was the goal of dudes taking off their jacket and laying it in a puddle? It doesn't help at all. You would just go to. The, uh, did, did that ever actually happen or was that just like a, a cartoon um, thing? Yeah, every, everything would still get wet. Everything would still get wet. And like, you're yeah. ruining a jacket. Ruining. Yeah, it. you're wearing a wet jacket. But I kind of will we'll tell Malasek to do it. I want next time it rains, I want to give him a jacket and go lay it in a puddle for a woman to see how she we're reacts. We're gonna make him do we're, that. Yeah, we're, we're not even gonna have to make him. We're gonna have to no. ask him, and he'll will go. And it's gonna have to be like to a go. research study, so he's gonna have to do a bunch. Yeah, but yeah. like he'll have to have a dry jacket every time. Yeah, because if a girl sees you <laughs> imagine getting caught by putting an already wet jacket in a puddle for a woman. That's how you got caught cheating. That's way worse. That's like the way. Yeah, uh, yeah you got, <laughs> but like, I don't even know how that became dudes were like, um, dudes were such pussies back. Courtships were gay. Do you want to know the, what it says is the real reason? Yeah. Yeah, it says legend has it. Queen Elizabeth came to a puddle on a walk, unable to cross without getting her shoes wet. A swift chivalric jester, Sir Walker Raleigh, threw his coat over the puddle. The queen walked across mud free. Fucked up of the queen. Just be like, just go around the puddle or instead of ruining yeah. your jacket, carry her across. Also, like... The queen was the size of a, a thimble. It, true, and also she has, like, maybe the most power at her disposal of any person on Earth, and then she's just stumped by a puddle. That... Yeah, uh, people are gonna call me, I'm, like, the swift jester. Because <laughs> yeah. I am. You're, you're quick with the jokes? <laughs> swift jest... No, like a, like a really speedy, quick-footed, je like, jester-sized man. <laughs> Jesters weren't short. I thought they were, like, lanky. Jesters? Yeah. Oh. I'm or, thinking, what am I thinking of? No, you're thinking Dwarves? of G. You're, you're thinking of imps. I'm thinking of imps. <laughs> Wait, you're so poisoned by the NY New York Times crossword. Imp is yeah. in every... Oh, did you guys see the crossword puzzle on the first day of Hanukkah? It's a swastika. It's a swastika. On Oh. Pull it up. Lit. Pull up Saturdays. It's insane. I, it's very Dude, I had to check swastika. on a Monday today. I Today's was weird. I went, Today's sucked. I went Let to me the tell subreddit. you why. I went to the subreddit and people were pissed. I had to do a check. Part of a swimmer's side stroke was scissors kick. Pluralized. That ain't a thing. No one's saying it's scissors scissor kick. kick. Or scissor kicks. Uh... Like a puppy who's learned where to go is paper trained. I've never heard that. That's a very old uh, it was so potty like, trained, but paper trained like you would lay out a newspaper for it to pee on. I actually got that one. A drifting platform for pol polar wildlife is ice flow. F L O E. I knew that one as well. Unspeakably awful. Didn't awful is execrable. I can't. I couldn't even say the word. That I one was, fucked me up. I was laying in bed, pissed off at the world. I was like, I got to see what the subreddit, uh, the subreddit, does talks about because i go to yeah. the crossword subreddit to see the daily that's what a strong community it is mm. powerful I, I actually went to the subreddit to see what they said about the swastika one and everybody was just like what a beautiful grid and nobody really <laughs> yeah. like they, they get off on like the flow of the grid um <laughs> but i went to i don't know how it happened but i was typing in reddit crossword and then it went to crossfit and then i like deleted it but i clicked on cross I, or something i deleted the word cross first you know you can like move your cursor mm -hmm. and so it just fit and then fit naked girls was like oh, the yeah, top that's, side. that's not even obscure yeah i did i didn't like it because of course i saw stuff up. yeah 
Did you ever see the, um, <laughs> first of all, the recommended subs for us is pretty funny. Let me see if I can find it. It's like the, the number one related sub to the anus pod subreddit, I think is bass pedals. So like effect pedals for bass guitarists. So it's like <laughs> dudes that are like too self-conscious to be guitarists. They don't exactly. want to be heard. And that yet they, but they want to like even distort their shit even more. I didn't even know they made bass pedals. But that is our number one cross. Someone, someone DM me and said the boys over at r slash fupa love are showing us love. Why? I don't know. They said the the boys on r slash fupa love are ranting and raving about us. No kidding. I guess on fupa lovers. Did you see? Um, you were the the bell of the ball of the the bachelor subreddit. Did you see? You this? told me no. I don't. So they you that you had your lookalike come in, which having a lookalike on TV. And then standing next to him in person has to be. I never looked like him. Never did. Maybe as like maybe when you were both sperm cells. Maybe. Oh man. But uh, yeah, they posted you on the Bachelor subreddit. Tyler met his twin, Kent State wrestling legend Kyle Bauer, and the comments. <laughs> twin, if I'm blind. No. no. Uh. Wait, hold on. There was some. Hold on. There was a lot I thought of that I saw. I guess I didn't screenshot the right ones. Yeah, if I close my eyes, they look exactly the same. Oh, LMFAO, the KB no swag guy got hired into Barstool for being funny on Twitter, but he's generally just the butt of many jokes. No, well, I, I don't Thank think you. so at all. Yeah, well, I could have went without saying and hearing. <laughs> and then somebody responded, KB fucking runs Barstool. You don't know what the fuck is going on. There you go. You have shooters. They, uh, uh, yeah, thank you. But KB isn't, and somebody else, what? He isn't the butt of many jokes. He's one of the only people now with content worth consuming. So there you go. I'm, I don't need that shit in my life. You got a discourse Shit's for It's toxic. What do you mean? Hearing good or bad things about yourself. Good things are good. Nah, that shit's worse. When you seek it out and you crave it. It's the only way you can get your boost. That's it's bad. I went to an adult doodle class last week. It was at a dog cafe. That, that's so, yeah. It was, I bodied it. I you were doing sketches at a doodle class. I wasn't. You were doing full blown sketches at a doodle class. I, of course, yeah. You were doing three dimensional, you were shading, that's training. not doodle. Yes, I'm classically trained. You were doing I'm not going to just drop that. I can't just forget it. It's second nature. You were doing easel work on notepad paper. <laughs> I was trying to. I, I was. I was. But um, I went and they taught us how to draw a dog. What and was the clientele at the doodle workshop? Uh, really just uh, hot uh, 25 to 30 year olds. Uh, it was just me and Maresh. <laughs> <laughs> it was just me and Maresh. Okay. Um. So he, we had to draw, learn how to draw a dog, and his turned out like shit. Ooh, Ooh yikes! Let me see. Bad looking dog. It's like a Michelin. You guys are learning to sketch. No, a dog is just you do the two dimensional. You make it fun. You don't make it look realistic. Doodle dog right now. Doodling is there's a, my dog. Oh, I actually find that kind of disturbing. Why? why it's are, cute. Why are his eyes all black? It's a dog. But like they're not that black. Mm, yeah, that's uncanny valley that's photo that's photo realism but i could teach you guys how to draw a dog. it was it was great you um, went to the, you definitely did the the full classes at the stifle fine arts center i in woodsdale i not only did the full classes every summer of just like drawing i eventually became a teacher there i had my own classroom oh man but it was weird i was it was my summer job in college i was teaching uh sketching classes and drawing classes there but then they also assigned me a robotics class I had to teach robotics to like eighth graders and I had yeah. no idea what to do. What did you do? Didn't do that. But it was like the parents were paying like $500 for a week. It's all scams. Yeah. Everything is a scam except for HelloFresh. You're like the fit one. New Year's is coming up. You have goals and HelloFresh is here to help you achieve them. Skip the grocery store. I'm telling you, stop going. It's a waste of time. It's frustrating. It's a waste of money. You're paying too much. You're waiting too long. You're getting fr It's the most anger inducing place in the world for me. 
aside from like the highway on during traffic. But um, take control of your time and budget with delicious recipes delivered right to your door. Fuck the gro- skip the grocery store. We're talking about HelloFresh. HelloFresh's latest line, not like a queue, but latest line of meals featuring robust flavors and filling portions already in less than 15 minutes. Enjoy taste and quality done quick, quickly with the recipes like, oh, falafel power bowls, seared steak and potatoes and bernese sauce or Southwest pork and bean burritos. That's a good mix of things that I didn't even know they had until now. I will be trying them all. With HelloFresh, eating well in the new year can be stress-free and delicious. Mm-hmm. With over 35, 35 weekly recipes, that's like four a day. They have the options you're looking for to help you achieve your goals. They got the calorie smart and the carb smart recipes. You can even customize select meals by swapping proteins or size upgrading your proteins yep. or adding protein to a veggie dish. Hmm. Skip the snowy schlep. To the grocery store. Huh. Stock up on snacks, sides, desserts, and more at HelloFresh Market. Go to HelloFresh.com slash story21, story21, and use code story21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. That's 21 free meals and free shipping with code story21. I was looking for topical news stories to talk about. Uh, one of the D'Amelio sisters, there was a cheating accusation she they said she cheated at dancing with the stars how how do you cheat at dancing cgi yeah that's that's just being good at dancing yeah yeah Yeah. come on now that's all i got that's all i got though (laughs) yeah (laughs) how dixie d'amelio you're going to prom with me and you're going to like it what the fuck is that is that world of t-shirts, world of t-shirts before nah, was dude, he trying to go to prom i'm with following him like a fucking reality show it's every night he's documenting his whole day he's going live he's being a nuisance at bars he's he's having a great life he's always in just like to uh, like some he's going to cool bars every night in new york city getting wasted singing screaming dancing on people throwing up in his drink consuming it afterwards now he has like a 59 year old dude following him around um that's good television he dresses like the poorest kid in gym he class. wears the same shit every yeah. day it's kind of awesome i don't even know where you can get shorts like people that are anymore. sending him i don't even know what the gifts mean but they're sending him galaxy to like naughty bop and bron in the bronx or like dance at the bar and i think that's like 20 bucks what do you mean when you can give somebody a gift during their live streams and it's the equivalent of money oh so that's what's funding his, I don't think he's tipping at all. He's a complete dickhead, but um, not the dickhead of the week. Oh, oh fuck. No. no. I was hoping you wouldn't be mentally well enough to deem a dickhead of the week. Now, this one was a give me. It was a layup. I uh, I bought this thing called a Pow Kitty. It's like an, uh, uh, an it's a Game Boy. It's like an illegal Chinese Game Boy. It has all these games built in. Every, I have every Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, NES, Super Nintendo, Dreamcast. I did that PS. on my iPod Touch in 2010. Sure, yeah. My jailbroken one. Yeah, but uh, that, that was a real gamble. And it made every other aspect of your phone worse. It was my iPod Touch. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it still made it really clunky. Yeah. But this thing, I've just been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And I've been staying up to like 2.30 in the morning playing Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul. Soul trying to build my deck around Summon Skull. Um, it's There's no dickheads in the Yu-Gi-Oh card universe besides Maneater Bug. But I play with them. Maneater Bug? Okay. That at least makes sense. I mean, I'm stumbling upon Pokemon that are... It's almost impossible to make something so stupid. So... F- it's the you name. Don't, you don't the, always the name have, the power, the, the look. I think like throwing a curveball and having a week where it's not a Pokemon would be funny. What? Yeah, I know. I'm consider. I'm taking. I'm weighing everything equally. Yeah. People, things. I've said this in the past. Animals. Everything <laughs> that can express um, can make you feel bad. Before you get into that, I think. Uh, so we had a meeting about like how to make your podcast profitable, um, and segment driven podcasts. Like PMT is the model. Their segments. They sell their segments. You know, I f- I want to sell Dickhead of the Week. Dickhead of the week yeah, brought to you it by sells like itself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, 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 it doesn't. Okay. Because it's not sold. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't at all. You would think, yeah, you would think <laughs> dude, the people like, look at this I want to, I want to sell dickhead of the week. Butter. I want to see a co- what company gets behind it. Yeah. Um, but anyway, sorry for interrupting. 
uh, proceed. With Dickhead of the Week or do you mean to wait? Oh, no, let's go into Dickhead of the Week. Can I guess? You can guess. It's so, easy. It's another no-brainer, <laughs> so it shouldn't be too hard. Um, so I think you've you've gone... Th- I'm tr- is, it a, is it a type... I think it's going to be a type you haven't done yet. Uh, its name is a combination related to one animal and one product or aroma. So aroma meaning it's good. Yeah, it shouldn't. What is it? They combined the swine onomatopoeia oink oh. with the fragrance product cologne. It's yeah. oink alone. <laughs> it's That's oink alone. <laughs> and they what they try to do here is make a, a pig sexy and a lesbian. <laughs> it has that inverted bob, the Karen color. I know. Yeah. They tried to make a pig. Se- Pigs can be cute. A sexy pig. Are you looking at it? Pull it up. I got it. Everyone it, does it, it evolve up. from lechonk? Yes, which is actually like a cute it's pig. A cute and it's pig. disgusting. Um, what, let's talk about it. It's a hog Pokemon, obviously. Its name is a combination of oink and cologne, which <laughs> that's gross. Oink cologne. Um, it's disgusting. Um, it's a, it looks like a fat lesbian. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Ham Hawk. Its abilities. This is this is the this is the good one. This is the treat. Its abilities are. This is real from Bulbapedia. Gluttony and lingering aroma. That's its abilities. Those are disabilities. Those are pathologies. It's medically obese. I love. I love permanent it. body odor. You're spending more time on Bulbapedia than anybody. It's hidden ability, which is a thing. You know about hidden abilities? Know about hidden it's ability. hidden ability is thick fat. No, no, it's not hidden. Look at, is that it? That's, there's there's other versions. Yeah, there are other versions. No, that's there's, not it. That's not it. There's a male it. and female version. The, this one. This isn't it? Has, it has yellow other. growths underneath its eyes. That is yeah, disgusting. Version, it has 3D jaundice. shiny. 3D jaundice. Big yellow growths. <laughs> Fucking addicted to pudding shots. Um, it looks like a, a trans girl on Xanax went to a doodling class and actually tried to make a pig sexy. <laughs> look at that thing. Look at the tail. Look at the look at the the, the tail. The about, appendages the at the tail? the tail. What about it? Oh. oh yeah. Droopy triangular ears with yellow insides. Disgu- are you thinking of redeeming qualities? You're you're throwing in the towel early. I mean, no. I think it's it's a newer Pokemon, and it's like it's an early game Pokemon. It's it's like probably the Radita Eradicate version. They're not meant to be played through with the whole game. They're meant to be caught early, used. Um, and you're I giving think it excuses, not positive qualities. No, I. You're think, giving it excuses for sucking. No, no, no. I think it does its job well. And I think the its job is what a lingering aroma and Le, being fat. Lechonk is funny, it's cute, and I think the there's different versions of it. I think it's an okay Pokemon. Stats the shiny are, Lechonk. The, is I looked fantastic. at its stats too. Abysmal. Chris Davis, eighteen. Terrible stats all around. Look at that. And it was posted again. It was posted. I looked it up on Reddit to r slash feral pokey porn. To the tune of 205, it was a, a depiction of it getting fucked in the ass. Its pussy is bordering its ass, no gooch. <laughs> Winkalone's getting fucked in the ass, 205 upvotes. Okay. Zero comments. That's how pathetic the people who even like it know it. They can't they're even, afraid they, they're comment. afraid to even comment how if they like it's it or not. It's getting fucked in the ass by what? A dick, a penis. <laughs> by like, what's the dick attached to? It looks like to? a human penis. It's out of, <laughs> the, the rest of the body is out of sight. <laughs> It looks like Megan Rapino ate an entire Mia ham and then traded pussies with Hope Solo. Um, Oink alone has no fans. God hates it. Sold out the Wilbur. Wait, did you nah. say God hates Nuzleaf too? Got it. Yes. It's coincidental. Uh, it looks like it forgot to check yes for utensils on a milk bar cake and had to eat it with a gunky fork from the sink. Oh, geez. That was specific. Yeah. <laughs> Lech- the names are so bad. Oink alone in Lechonk. Is what? that a pork roast pun? Why pork roast pun? 
What does that mean? Le Chonk, I think it's just like French. It's, it's French. And so would Cologne. What is this? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I tried to recreate. I saw the other day the, the worst snack run of all time in front of me in line. And I tried to recreate it the best I could at the store nearby. This is, you can't get a worse combination of items from a store, gas station, etc. You guys probably like some of these. I, I, I'm afraid I'm going to love this. Plain ruffles. Ooh. You need a dip. You need Dude, a dip. It is. It There's no point it of the ruffle. It tastes like nothing. It, the ruffle doesn't do anything. Ruffle it's makes it stronger for dip. Thing. But you're eating. If you're getting one of these, you're not going to have dip with it. Look at, the, look at the cover. Yeah, but this is just a single solo bag of like 16 of them. <laughs> Don't. Who's eating these? <laughs> There's so many good chips with flavor. Yeah. On the flip side, <laughs> this is prob This is more disgusting than the kiwi strawberry snapple. In the, because people have this stigma about Gatorade that it's for athletes, it's for healthy people. This is the <laughs> fattest thing you could drink, and the worst flavor of it too. Which the one? The fierce grape. Oh, what makes that it, doesn't taste yeah. like grape? That tastes like metallic. <laughs> this a thirty-two ouncer of this, probably the worst beverage you can get. It's disgusting because you, you're you're trying something. You're not even a gross person. You're trying bad. <laughs> Who's eating drinking nectar? You're, I said eating it because you're pretty. It's so thick. You're pretty much. This is this is disgusting. Unless you're on the a raft in the Indian Ocean, like the life of Pie Boy, you don't. <laughs> who is drinking this peach orange flavored nectar? That sounds awesome. Sunflower seeds without the, the, the shell. Look at the brand. No one's eating sunflower seeds to taste the the, the flavorless seed. No. The whole fun is sucking the salt and flavor off of the seed. Crack, doing a little fucking math with your tongue. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Horrible. I, every time I'm home, I have a cheek full of sunflower seeds. I'm like, Mr. Sir, I can't stop. Pineapple flavored gum. First off, <laughs> you should never be eating fruit flavored gum. That's for mint and that's for something to, you know, give you a mint feel in your mouth. That's the only purpose gum should. That's a demo run on, on flavor. And pineapple's the worst flavor. <laughs> these, these need brought down 10 pegs. Because <laughs> they give off the illusion of a sweet, fun snack. <laughs> you guys, what do these taste like? Wax. Yeah. Syrup. Yeah. What? I, I, I have uh, an announcement. I actually love the grape Gatorade and Twizzlers. Okay. Okay. The, no, these. Yeah. Okay. Those are certainly... <laughs> I mean, these go without saying. What is that? The peanuts and raisins. Wait, <laughs> Wait the brand, I didn't know there was. Look how big, KB. Look the how brand big KB. Is KB. Uh, yeah, whatever. K and B. Can't split me. Yeah. Wait, I've never seen just look peanuts at the, and raisins. Big together. ass raisins. <laughs> those are huge raisins. <laughs> yeah, and they're mostly raisins. Those, wait a minute. I could write some jokes about that. Give me uh, one yeah. of those. Yeah. And some gorp. Well, I've and never then, just seen peanuts yeah, and raisins together. And on the flip side of gum, if you're getting mint, don't chew mint. <laughs> Weak ass now. All right. So you try to recreate this. When yeah. did you see this? And were you pissed off in line? Yes. I had to wait what? three minutes because now I time myself. <laughs> Whenever I'm waiting for something and I'm getting like frustratingly impatient, I just hit the timer and it's always like, yeah, I only waited three minutes, but that's still three. That's a long time in line. I feel like that would make you more angry. No, it helps. Okay. Okay. I disagree with that. Yeah, because I think like when you're done, you look back and you're like, it wasn't that long. Are you trying it? Just so bad. <laughs> it can't be so Just bad. So bad. It can't be so bad. It, it somehow is. It had to pass so many levels of product testing. Let me taste this. Have the nectar. Have your nectar. <laughs> Ew. That's so good. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> that's really, that's so good. <laughs> I get, but drink this and like, don't sh sneak off to get this. <laughs> like you're an alcoholic. It's good. This is damn good. Jesus. <laughs> Something about nectar just quenches so much better. Nectar quenches better. I love nectar, better. I think. <laughs> when did you come to that realization? You know, oh my God, this is insanely good. <laughs> my bad. Big big shout out yeah. to Nan. Dude, maybe a Nantucket Nectar can sponsor yes, Dickhead of the Week. This is insanely good. There we go. I'm addicted to that. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Here we go. Dude, that is all right. Yeah. I get it. You you're you yeah. You get addicted, man. Um 
if you are, if you guys are feeling down, feeling overwhelmed, the show's sponsored by BetterHelp. Unfortunately, life doesn't come with a user manual. So when it's not working for you, it's normal to feel stuck. Navigating any of life's challenges can make you feel unsure, whether it's a career change, a new relationship, or becoming a parent. Therapists are trained to help figure out the cause of challenging emotions and learn productive coping skills, which means therapy, the closest thing to guided tour of a which means therapy, the closest thing to a guided tour of the complex engine called you. Talk to, um, I, uh, you know, everybody has their rough patches. Using BetterHelp, you call in, help you out. It'll help you out a lot. It won't cure you instantly, but nothing will. But you got to work on it. And it's uh, nice to hear from somebody else that you're not broken. Uh, as the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million plus people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online. Plus, it's affordable. Just fill out the brief questionnaire and match with a therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch from a new therapist anytime. Couldn't be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no em- endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash new. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash new. N-E-W. Oh this in a glass bottle. Jesus. Game over. Those things have a nice pop. On the glass bottle, the top. Yes, they sometimes have a fact. On the on the island tours on Nantucket experiences its highest volume in August. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I guess you were right. Yeah, um, yeah these are great. Um, this what? would be killer with some vodka. Oh no! Oh, are, are you, you going? Are you going to be back? No, I haven't even craved it, dude. But have you craved the feeling? Um, I mi- uh, no, it was more of a crutch you, yeah. for uh, social anxiety. Yeah. yeah, I get that. I get that a lot. So you think you're done for good? I don't know. I think I might have to. I mean, you're on the nectar now. What do you look? You keep on looking. I for? had the weirdest alcohol phases where I so what a gross life. Alcohol? Yeah, I had so- a sake run. My worst was the soju. Oh, run, I remember you I when was you were obsessed a- with soju. The Korean one. I would just get three of the bottles. Which it's are- phenomenal. It's Korean vodka, it's right? It's so thick. It is. Kind of, that's what drew me to it was the thickness. Really? And it's yeah. after a while, it got so bad. I remember your sake run. You would buy like a six pack and go to like a party. Thirteen percent. Yeah. Remember one time I went to K Town alone, sat down to get a meal, and ended up ordering three sojus, drinking them all. And getting the meal to go, forget blacking out, forgetting the meal, just leaving it there. That was gross. I was sweaty in the winter. Yeah. I yeah, you uh you're not like a I'll go out and I'll just like be like, oh, I'm gonna get a whiskey ginger. I'll go out and I'll be like, I'm gonna do Bud Light. You stick to one alcohol for like two, yeah. three months. And it used and to be I could only ground. consume it via taking shots of liquor. That was until 2018. So I would go to the liquor store and I would instinctively or con- like I would gag as soon as I smelled the liquor store because I knew what I was about to get into. I would get my shot or my liquor, my chaser, my shot, pour it halfway and just rip half shots in the corner by myself until I was ready to talk. God damn, dude. You're warming up. Yeah. What was your chaser? I, I can't even enjoy any of those drinks anymore. Yeah. They ruin them. I can't have applesauce anymore because I got bronchitis pretty bad and I couldn't swallow pills. I can't eat I dessert pizza from Greco's because oh, that made me throw up once. Did you guys grow up with dessert pizza? It was dessert like, pizza? Yeah, it was really thin crust with just cookie dough and chocolate chips on it. No, that sounds really good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. So it's just a massive cookie cut into slices? I guess it is. No, it was the it was like an actual pizza. It just oh. kind of made it gross. Yeah, it was Yeah, it was like a flaky pizza crust and, and then like cheese, smeared. Obviously. Well, no. It's okay. cookie dough and chocolate chip. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it was. You can't do it anymore because you got too drunk and threw it up or something. Dude, no, that was just a thing that made me sick. Oh, no, no, <laughs> that, was, that was like 10. Oh, yeah. It's weird how you have aversions like and uh, that happens. We are going home for Christmas uh, this week, but we're backlogging. So we're recording today, tomorrow, following day. So. Um, it's going to be more of a quantity. Hopefully quality remains. We'll see how it goes. We've never done like a, uh, marathon recording every day. And that probably sounds pretty pathetic if I'm saying it's going to be hard, but we'll see how it goes. Um, we have some guests, we have some uh, surprises. It'll be good, Yeah. but I'm going home. I just finished my Christmas shopping. I have my 
mom, my dad, my sister, my 60 year old autistic uncle and my grandma. And he's very autistic and he doesn't like anything. And he's so hard to shop for. I got him brass knuckles, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't oh know what to get. God. I got him fucking brass knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> That's dangerous. Yes. He he like can't live alone. He lives in a nursing home with my grandma. They share the same. That's a apartment. perfect gift. <laughs> I thought so too. Yeah. Because I was like, can't get him a knife. But like, he's not going to get in any fist fights. So no. I just like, just to have him to like carry around. He's going to yeah. feel cool. Just standing around with the fucking brass knuckles. at the grocery store with brass knuckles on, <laughs> yeah. puzzled look on his face. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the the PC term for puzzled looking look. autistic. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that dude with the puzzled look over? Him? Dude, uh, it, he, when it he, clicks, he's not confused. He knows exactly what he likes, uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and he only yeah, it's only three things. Yeah, um, yeah that's a good present. I for think that. it's a damn good gift. Yeah, like. You don't want to get them like my mom has gotten them like Nerf guns and stuff. Just like no, oh, it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't you didn't specify the the severity. The yeah, it's either that <laughs> chronic. Like, it was, uh, oh, that's chronic. <laughs> <laughs> that comic books like it's just like it always oh, goes dude. to waste. But like oh. I yeah he uh, he loves Vanna White. And like, oh, my dad's my 60 year old dad's going to clown him on Twitter. <laughs> Wait, my uncle. Yeah, you're autistic. <laughs> Why is he doing he's gonna, that? He's gonna. Yeah. Your dad's starting to combine characters, by the way. I don't know what he's up it, to. It, there's a crisis going on because it's like I'm a huge lib and love Travis K. It's definitely some crises. Yeah. He, yeah. I'm excited for you. He to texted go me the other day. He was like, I'm Ubering the L.A. gorillas right now to a gaming tournament. And I was like, aren't they? And I looked, those are those guys are huge. They just had the CDL champion. I think they won the Call of Duty World Series. Um, no, New York. I was weird you brought that up. I randomly watched it yesterday. The New York Subliners won. Oh, uh, they won. Yeah. I was watching it. It's pretty fucking hard to follow. It's a lot yeah. going on. I could never get into that. My roommate was huge into the Overwatch League. I bought him a jersey for his birthday, and he it was not I was set him a good gift giver, not a good gift. Because you don't want to like, you're not going to wear an Overwatch League jersey. No, you're not. You can't even hang that up. No, <laughs> no. Uh, uh, my bad. My bad. Answer. I think gaming is the move. We were talking about this. That's the move. Yeah. Gaming is the move when you're in a mental. I think, yeah. Rut. As you get older, I see that I get it more and more. Yes. It's mm -hmm. the, it's really the only like break you can get from existing. Uh, I've been when I'm in mental ruts, which is often uh, I'm a nostalgia guy. I'll watch like a movie or a show that I watched when I was 13, play a video game that I, that I played when I was 13, look at like, listen to fucking AFI, sing yeah. the sorrow. Uh, nostalgia yeah. for me gets me. Uh, I like watch. I like the aesthetics of it, I guess. But when they actually, when the, the guys on TikTok actually play the Game Boy games, it's, it's not fun. Um, you can only click up and down. No, there are some decent ones. Like, I don't think you can have fun on a Game Boy. You can. Tetris is a timeless game. That's something. Yeah, that's like something that doesn't require buttons. Well, yeah, what? yeah knob. You can knob. play it on your phone. So, like, if you you should start gaming, Rudy. I want you yeah. to start putting your gaming stuff on the Anus Channel. Um, I also think like you should start uh, filming yourself when you do your tier lists. I want to redo my Pokemon tier list and film myself and throw it up on the Anus YouTube. The uh, uh, Mook yeah. YouTube. The people want KB doing GeoGuessr. That was a big takeaway. You and you and Julia. Oh, yeah. yeah, you and Julia. I used to post videos all the time. Yeah, I don't know, I, some of them can be. Re I don't know if we could post them. I had some good. They ones. live on the Barstool website. I could uh, host you two, on like the, the the my Twitch, and I could just set you guys up for a match. I think that he's in for a, a world of hurt. I don't know, man. He was pretty knowledgeable, and he was saying the capitals correctly. But he, that's he was an impressive. Right. There's a visual medium. And he, that like my thing was memorizing the capitals. He just knew them. From going. He didn't like care to like show anyone. Well, you're right. Cause traveling does help because he will then be able to have a visual aspect in which GeoGuessr is highly visual. So maybe it'd be a good match. Yeah. I want to become friends with him. I don't know how to like. Make uh, that uh, he's one of the, he's one of those, him and Francis. Uh, you used to be one too. He's I very got you good. nice. Yeah. Like I have like a kind of a crush on, <laughs> you know, like yeah. that, that feeling. It's not like a new friend. It's like more than, it's Your not like, fixed. it's not sexual. No, it's not sexual, but you want him. You want him. Yeah. 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 But getting him is hard. Isn't getting it? him would be tough. And just like an invite over to like drink at his place would be fucking. I feel like he would lead me on. 
<laughs> like be super excited about the like the prospect. Yeah. And then I don't know. Would he end up hurting you, you think? Yes. <laughs> I'm hurt more by guys than I have ever, ever been by a girl. Yeah, it's true. It's hard as when you get in like your mid twenties, it's difficult to make guy friends. Yeah, I think you. Uh, I don't know because guys are like hardwired. You can, if you have one thing in common or slightly in common, like if you and a guy are out and you guys are kind of wearing the same flannel. You're good. Yeah, I know. I agree with that. In person, it's very easy. Oh, in person. But the follow up, like, it's like, uh, oh, yeah, no, yeah. there that's, is no follow up. That's the, that's the worst. No, no. You, you, need, you need a second person that off, like, who's yeah. like mediating it. Yeah, you a can connect, mutual friend. But you'll never see him again. What do you, you can't send that second text or that first text? No. You get his number. Hey, it was nice meeting you, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, it's a bridge too far. There was this guy, um, we were walking into my building together and I just, he was like the look and attire of who would be like a barstool guy. And he was like, yo man, what's going on? I'm like, Hey, and he was like, I didn't know you lived here. I was like, yeah. And he was like, cool. Like, let me get your number. We'll grab a beer sometime. I was like, all right. And then he was like, so what do you do? I was like, Oh Ooh, yeah. And so, oh. so there was, it was pure. Yeah. But why? Yeah. It's, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, and I was very confused question. by that. And then he texted me not too long ago to go grab a drink. Did you ghost him? No. Oh, no. I was just like, hey, man, I'm in sick, which is true. You guys can hear it. Mm. So. But are you going to pursue? I. Or accept. Next dude, time? I, I think. Uh, I think my circle's done. I think I'm done growing. I'm good. I'm content. Yeah. it's. I hate to. I mean, it's sad, but I. I agree i'm i'm content yeah. uh i've been a groomsman too much already and uh i i i i'm already overwhelmed with like uh jokes i feel obligated to hang out with some people and i don't know yeah no yeah i'm done with that you done? you are you done with friends yes how many do you have i know your circle's a cheerio oh, no. but like no, he's a Fruit Loop. Yeah, your circle's yeah, the, fruit, the Fruit, the fruit yeah. Loop. Yeah, it's a Fruit Loop. We get it's terrible cereal. You think so? Hate it. You hate that artificial flavor. Ew. I think the flavor is good, but it wrecks your mouth. I'd rather have a Fruity Pebble mouth. if I'm having a fruit cereal. Or Oops All Berries. You ever try to buy Zin from a like a very foreign guy? Yeah. And you're trying to describe to him which one you want and you realize he doesn't know like the English enough to know like the flavor like spearmint or yeah. peppermint and then you then you're like oh left and right then you realize he doesn't know left or right yes then he, you try to say the color he doesn't know colors either yes you gotta it, it's it happens to me all the time it happens to me uh, you have to like use your fingers to try to direct him it happens to me frequently I mean you gotta you gotta learn the colors or yes. you gotta learn left and right because that all I'm saying is left 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 they don't know yeah. bring a I would just flash a picture of the one you want that would because, be faster uh, I it's tough in the city. I'm a pussy and I'll do snooze and it's really tough to ask for snooze um, because I'm also such a cunt that I refuse to call it snus. Mm. Um, and so I just go in there and I ask for snooze. They, they grab like a Copenhagen long cut. Oh, yeah, it's impossible. It's, it's tough. Yeah, I have this weird thing where the guy that I always go to. He does the same thing. We go through the the same song and dance where he doesn't know which one it is. And then he follows it up at the end. Like the last three times he goes, we do this every week. And I'm like, so you so know. Yeah. Not even on some xenophobia shit. If it, the, the roles were reversed and I was the, the I was working the cash, the cash register, or the booth at, you know, in Serbia or whatever. Pakistan. <laughs> then um, as soon as that happened to me once, I would go and I would look up. uh the translation of left and right, green and red. Yeah. And I would end up, that's what, that's the worker mm, I would be. No, you wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, no, you, you wouldn't. wouldn't. No, I get it then. Yeah. It, it's, it is, it would be tough. And like the Zin colors are too similar. Isn't there like an aqua and then a teal? And they're always next to each other. Yeah. They, yeah, they are, yeah. That's true. When I get my brain back, I'm going to learn another language, but just kind of, and I'm going to be obnoxious about it. Are you? Yes. I tried to do that with a uh, Chinese. I was Duolingo Chineseing, and then I was taking a lesson in person uh, in Columbus. Columbus, I was all about bettering myself. I didn't yes. have internet for a year, just so I would read. 
it, you I, weren't, but you weren't happier back then. God, no. no, no. I'm even though like I'm tired and I'm sick all the time and busy. I'm happier than I've been yeah. ever. Yeah, when I was in Youngstown, I actually had no friends. I didn't even know anyone in the city. So what did you do? Drove to Pittsburgh or Cleveland, yeah. but I didn't want to do that. So I just, you know, chalked it up. Chalked it up is just like life. Yeah. You're just like this is but it it's crazy how content you get so fast. Yeah. Um, in Columbus, I my roommate I was friends with. He was like one of my best friends, but he was an attorney. Law school was busy. So like if I couldn't hang out with him on a weekend, I you go to coworkers. And coworkers in the real mm. world are way different than coworkers here. Way different. Way different. Because you're when you're hanging out in person, like outside of work, you're still on work mode. You're still using like yeah. the terms with work. You can't you can't cuss. You can't you can't gawk at a nice fat ass. Um it's tough. Right. No, none of that. There's mm. you're still talking about, oh, it's a little too chilly for my liking. <laughs> <laughs> you can't point out the sixty year old autistic man none with of brass that. knuckles none in the corner. That. Yeah. Man, we kind of that. actually have so it's, my uncle is uh severely brain damaged jeez you guys have the weakest uncles yeah and he uh but it's interesting because his he's the easiest guy to get gifts for because he knows what he fucks with heavy so <laughs> what you what are you getting him what do you, yeah what are you getting him? he loves anything he grew up in dc and so if you get him anything um commanders related um yeah anything, the sports ones sports, are the easiest sports, yeah, yeah. Sports are very sports easy. Ones. He's so, also a big crossword guy. So here's the issue with my uncle. He was autistic learning disability growing up. Um, he was then moved away to Baltimore. And he was like independent living. But then he was severely over medicated for like 40 years. Oh, that's sad. Severely. And so like he sued his doc. We ended up suing his doctor. Like, But it, it left him. I guess, really? yeah, I guess our uncles are similar. Yeah. But he's a big Ravens guy. But I've already... You know, mm -hmm. I'm 30, getting him a gift every year since I was 15. I've tapped every Ravens thing, every West Virginia Mountaineers thing, uh, every comic book. I can't. I've run out. So I knew the brass knuckles time would come. <laughs> brass knuckles. <laughs> And then I'll just next year, I'll get him a pair. Of, I'll get him the other hand. Can you film that like a military homecoming style? Like, it's like <laughs> sad music and like overlay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll film it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, um, dealing with the special needs is a large part of my life. Like uh, my mom works at a nonprofit, started a nonprofit to give like the special needs uh, adults hobbies because a lot of special needs adults don't have yeah. hobbies. Um, and so like when I was home last time, I sent you that picture of me in the drum circle with all the yes, special needs adults. Yes, I laughed, but that was, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you kind of, you wanted, you know what, you knew what you were doing. Um, but that was still impressive. The entire fourth floor. My mom's my similar to yours. She does that yeah. shit too. Like she'll, she has one dude that she just delivers hungry mans to. Yeah. Yeah. Probably get it himself. I was. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. No, it sounds like your mom's quite the philanthropist. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a frozen dinner. Yeah, yeah. That's what he wants. That's the only thing he eats. Damn, she's a fucking saint. Yeah. Um oh yeah, it's it's bad. I the holidays are tough too because my grandma's old. My mom's gonna be so pissed I'm talking about this. The grandma that lives with the uncle. Mm -hmm. And she always eats her meals too fast. And so every meal we have, she throws up and me and my dad, she does this thing where she just shuffles to the bathroom and then she lets it loose. And oh. me and my dad, as soon as dinner served, it's like, that's, it's like, we eat like major pain. <laughs> and, yeah. and because as soon as she gets up to shuffle, you know, like the appetite's gone though. So I'm like, every holiday for me is like, I'm Takiro Kobayashi and I'm just going until, oh. until the shuffle happens. That sucks. Yeah, I, that's part of going home, man. I think that's family. It is. Yeah, I wouldn't trade it. Yeah, you can't. You just can't. Yeah. yeah. If that's... you run out of brass knuckles, though, socks always work. I found with socks my won't, socks, socks won't socks work. Won't work. He works. He loves socks. Really? He loves I socks. love socks. Put yeah. on a like a brand new pair of socks. Rocks. Yeah. I don't know what I want. Like my mom was really pressuring me this year of like, what do you want for Christmas? I couldn't name one thing. No. I said pants. But you want to pick out the pants. I want to pick out the pants. What it did you hard. ask for? Nothing. Because she wants to do something nice, and I feel like I'm making her job infinitely harder. I, I haven't asked for something since uh, maybe I was 26. And ever since then, my, 
My mom's gone over on gifts. Yeah. <laughs> she's, yeah. She's gone over. I stopped trying. I just don't even ask for anything in particular. Yeah. It's just easier that way. Yeah. You just, you just, just go basic. Give me a pack of black t-shirts. Yeah. It's just, yeah, there's just nothing that really, because once you get to a certain age, all you, you know what you want and then describing it to your parents and having it delivered in a, in a fashion that suits you is almost impossible. But if there's something that I yeah. really want, I'm not going to make my parents buy it for me. I'll go get it. Right. I just want to be home. I want to chill on a nap. I want to not have to shovel snow, but I'm going to have to. I want to get my I'll mom a Porsche. For books. You got your mom a Porsche? I want to. It's, it's like the dream. <laughs> you want to get your mom a Porsche? Yeah, like with, but with my current amount of money. So it would just be a <laughs> so gigantic to her. Like she would end up like being like more. Her like payment would be like $900 yeah. a month. Yeah. Maybe go, she'll be over. Yeah. Oh my dude. Yeah. You should get your mom. Just the, do the down payment. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, just get her a Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> She'd, She'd be, be so mad. That'd be the, 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 it would be the worst thing ever. <laughs> and that would be so funny. <laughs> oh, my God. I think you should. Yeah. Did you get her anything this year? Yeah. Yeah. What'd you get her? I ain't saying. Oh, she's listening. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got to keep it a secret. Yeah. Waiting um, for me to talk about my porn addiction. I'm not addicted. Wait, what? I'm, what? Not, I'm not addicted to other dudes getting pussy. That's weird. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah. Someone said that. Sure. And I was like, that's puts it into perspective. Yeah. How are you addicted to other dudes getting pussy? I don't watch two people having sex anymore. That's oh, like, I oh. never did. I was yeah, never. That's weird. You no, I was never. A, I, I. My pie chart of jerking off to photos to videos is heavily on the photo side. It's looking like uh, like the last frame of Pac-Man before he closes his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of the more intellectual way of doing it. You old think so? Old school. Renaissance. I yeah, guess. I guess. Yeah, I like to think of myself as an old sailor. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, there always, is a lot of like logical fallacies in porn. In terms logical of like, or like sexual fallacies yeah. like you said yeah yeah it's like pretty gay yes the head i'll never understand People i'll never watch understand head. watching a head video yeah i'm uh, never that's that that's that head i watch you're a head, head video, video guy well i'm, I'm that's, I'm, that's I'm, just, wait, wait, I, I wonder i understand that's all cock <laughs> like that um, i don't get i don't i never it was i never got that i understand it's it being the 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 piece there it's not the sum of the the video there's it gets to pussy it gets to 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 sex but it's strictly head videos whenever they're i click popular. on a video they're popular you see them and they're, they're that's always, what a uh, what a yeah no i'll never get you're a head video guy head video guy i'm not exclusively a head video have guy have you ever jerked off just to a head video yes he has he's a head yeah, video definitely. guy weird yeah. Well, I, mean, I think like a lot of like the best, the bit like the big time fuckers are like Drake said he was Drake, think, like, yeah. NBA players Drake, are. Rudy, the big time fuckers. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. But yeah, and I'm sort of rethinking things now. I might have to switch like J.O.I. Something a little more. But specific. like the J.O.I. is weird. It is. Because they're weird. talking down to you. They are. They and also I picture J.O.I. Like jerk off instructors. I also picture it like an auditorium. What? We're like, well, all of us are just, all of you. You think you're surrounded? You're in a class. I just feel that way. Where you're a like, weird dude. Yeah. Well, it just feels <laughs> that way. It's like a TED talk. Uh, the, uh, yeah, it's those are weird. And I don't like a countdown either. My algorithm on TikTok for a while was jerk off instructions, and I don't know why. Then I went to Family Guy, and I'm now I'm on Wrestling Pops, yeah. and I've never watched wrestling in my life, and I'm loving the wrestling. Yeah, pops. I love everything. I they. I get a lot of new interests. I yeah. want to explore ghost towns in Nevada now. Did you see the guy that bought a ghost town? He has a YouTube no. series. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, those are the best. He just bought a ghost town. He's exploring. He found like a an old ass pair of Levi's. He was like, this will pay off the whole fucking town. <laughs> found like a miner's pair of Levi's that probably had shit in them. Why else would you take off your pants in a mine? <laughs> <laughs> it's the only reason you would ever do that. <laughs> probably Man. crack it open, still sink. Um, yeah. yeah. So... Uh, next episode will be with uh, the Boy Dad guys, which will be exciting. We have a good chemistry with those guys because we do a, a show with them every single day. Um, and then we'll get Malasek to go lay his jacket in a puddle <laughs> tomorrow as well. 
Hopefully, yes. hopefully it rains, and if not, we'll have to go oh, make. Yeah. A, we'll have a wait. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, we're gonna have a make a puddle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's better. Yeah, yeah. We'll have Malice make a puddle. puddle. Yeah, he's down for anything. He's the man. All right. Thank you guys for listening. Yeah. New Untold Story three one two, three two three. Close three two three. That was pretty close. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys.